came from 11 different cities with one common dream, to be the best vocabulary master in the country. It is so important to have a good vocabulary, to have good spelling skills, to have good grammar. At stake, a college tuition. I hope my education is going to be able to put me in a place where I can um, do something I love for a living. The war of words is about to begin. I think that they're scared of me because I've done a lot more study probably than anybody else in the competition. Maybe I can get one or two questions right off the bat, and uh, then they'll have to work um, to catch up. I can't wait to get down there and uh, test out my medal against the, the best of the best from around the country. GSN and Bank of America Student Banking present Word Slam. Night. It's when most of the world sleeps. A time to reset our clock so we can begin a new day. It's all part of the rhythm of life. But for many, this healthy cycle is disrupted because sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. While natural sleep is best, Ambien helps you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and wake rested and refreshed, not groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. All people taking sleep medicines have some risk of becoming dependent on the medicine. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. In most instances, memory problems can be avoided if you take Ambien only when you're able to get 7 to 8 hours sleep before you need to be active again. Talk to your doctor about Ambien and wake rested and ready to start your day. Ambien works like a dream. I know you. You're sitting there with rheumatoid arthritis. This is one of your good days, right? And you're gonna wait. Till when? Till you can't turn on a light? A piece of advice about waiting? Don't. Not when there's Humira. Talk with a rheumatologist today. Humira doesn't just help stop the pain and stiffness. It can even slow the progress of RA. Because just sitting there, your joints could be deteriorating. And when they're gone, they're gone. Some people with heart failure should not take Humira. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. So tell your doctor right away if you have ever had tuberculosis or are prone to infection or if you get an infection. Do not start Humira if you have an infection such as an open sore or the flu. There have been rare reports of serious and sometimes fatal infections and tuberculosis. Blood disorders, nervous system disorders, serious allergic reactions, and lymphoma have occurred. Do it. Talk with a rheumatologist about Humira. GSNI. The I stands for interactive. That means you can play along with your favorite shows at home on your computer. If you're a millionaire maniac, it's easy to play Millionaire Interactive. Just tune in to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire weeknights at 8 on GSN. Then go to GSN.com, find the click here to play along button, register, and you're in the game. Don't forget to sign up for GSN Rewards. You can earn discounts towards cool Sony products just for playing along. Be a contestant at GSNI. Brought to you by Verizon. We never stop working for you. streaming video from Verizon Broadband, the world's most advanced network, and stay on top of your favorite sporting events. If you can. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Kimberly Lock and I'm here in Philadelphia where we're going to make one person's dreams come true. On this stage, 11 competitors will test their knowledge of words in a challenge we call Word Slam. Here are our vocabulary champions from around the country. To find our 11 word masters, we traveled across America, visiting 11 cities. At each stop, we challenged thousands to play Word Slam, but only the best made the cut. What's up, Pittsburgh? What's at stake for me is my son's education. I would like to win very badly. You know, I win it just to win. I mean, that's the most important thing to me. The winner in each city took home $10,000, which they can use to make their college dreams a reality. Their next stop, the Word Slam Championship in Philadelphia, where they can win another $25,000. 
Tonight, you'll meet the 11 we found for the Word Slam Championship. And we'll introduce you to some people who'll show you how the power of words can change your life. We began our Word Slam 11 city journey in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Are we ready to play? We rapidly narrowed the field with a series of difficult word games. Here, players had to change one letter in a word to form a new word. Some people got it. Lens, L-E-N-S. Very good. Some people didn't. Our word is mild. What's your word? Millie, M-I-L-I. Sorry, Bob. Thanks for playing with us. Up on stage, the goal was to be the first to get to 500 points. What one word follows? Hard, acid, folk, punk, grunge. Evan. Rock. Hard rock. That is correct. In the final round, players had to identify longer words that all had the same shorter word hidden inside. The hidden word is ham. The heavyweight title holder is crowned what? Bill. Champion. Champion. That is correct. Metropolis synonym or Batman's city? Evan. Gotham. That is the correct answer, Evan. A little lizard, Batman. Bill? Chameleon. Chameleon is correct. Bill is our winner. Evan, thank you for playing with us. Thank you so much. Bill is our winner. He just won $10,000 towards his college tuition. I've always been pretty good at, you know, putting vocabulary and writing down words. Over I was, like, overcome with excitement. I was just like, I couldn't, I didn't want to really let it all out, you know, because I probably wouldn't end up crying or something. <laughs> That's one of the most exciting moments of my life. When I was a little kid, I lived in a bad neighborhood. It was a lot of drugs and we had no money. We used to get robbed and now I'm grateful I live in a better neighborhood where that doesn't happen to us anymore. By him having the opportunity to win the $10,000 that he did, it may make his life a little bit easier where he doesn't have to have the bad luck that we did have at one time. When I go to Philadelphia, I'm gonna try to take my mom and my little sister with me because I don't want their support. My relationship between me and Bill is very strong. The relationship between him and my daughter it's great because he's like a role model for her. She really looks up to him. He's really smart. He's really, really smart to get on this game show and win. And I want to be like him one day. I wasn't really surprised that he won the $10,000 because I know that he's capable of something like that. You know? Education is an important thing to me now because my, my uncle and my dad, they're my, my role models, and they didn't finish their education. And they always tell me to get an education and finish school. I want him to stay away from drugs and alcohol and gangs and and that's not where it's at it's, you know it's where it's at it's, it's school education i wasn't even thinking about college before i won this money i didn't care what happened after school and i look now to see my future and it looks better for me words are important and having a good vocabulary is important because when you're trying to convey a specific message having the precise word at your disposal to convey exactly what you're trying to convey can make it so much easier to communicate. Stephen Klein Edler is the senior editor of the American Heritage Dictionary. He and his team are responsible for updating the dictionary to reflect the latest changes in the words we use. People are very passionate about language. People are very passionate about how people use language. It's a topic that everyone has an opinion about. We're always paying attention to the world around us, listening to cable, TV, reading books, reading newspapers, um, reading magazines, to find out how language is being used currently today. For the fourth edition of the American Heritage Dictionary, Klein Edler and his team added over 8,000 new words and tenses. These new words include familiar ones like chat room and multitasking, and also some words you've probably never heard of, like netizen and technology. Scientific and technological advances give birth to many new words, but it's often the unexpected that expands our vocabulary overnight. 9-11 itself has become a vocabulary item that was entered in the dictionary, but it also caused us to focus on issues like the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, um, the piece of clothing known as the burqa. You could think of language as a living, breathing organism. Um, it's constantly shifting. People change, culture changes, and you need uh, a shift in language to accommodate those changes. Your hidden 
word is Ben. Babe Ruth's Italian nickname. Rachel. Bambino. Bambino is correct. The president's secretary. Marianne. Cabinet. Cabinet is correct for 100 points. To tie or secure. Marianne. Find. Find is the correct answer. Marianne, you just won $10,000. A divorced mother of a young child, Mary Ann has been unable to continue her education until now. It feels great. I am very relieved and very, very happy. I will probably pursue either training to be a paralegal or maybe even law school. It's always been a dream of mine. Okay, your hidden word is lip. Bulbs that come from Holland. Chris. Tulip. Tulip is correct for 100 points. It's an adjective containing eight letters. Describes ice, banana peels, or wet floors. Chris? Slippery. Slippery is the correct answer. The little land visited by Gulliver. Chris? Lilliput. That is the correct answer. Chris, come on out here. <laughs> Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel terrific. And where are you going to college? UCLA. This is really the first time I've ever really won anything, so it kind of feels pretty surreal right now. Uh, I got into UCLA, so I'm glad about that. With the $10,000, I'm glad I'm, I get to help my parents out with paying for college and probably help myself out a little bit as far as student loans go. I hope my education is going to be able to put me in a place where I can um, do something I love for a living. John McWhorter is a historical linguist. He studies what happens to languages over time. There's no such thing as a language where when you look at it at one point and then you look at it a hundred years afterwards, it's the same. There is a difference between the 1930s and today. Before the 1970s in America, language was to be dressed up when you took it out. When you were speaking in a public way, that there was this other kind of language that was more controlled, that was more formal, that was better planned, that used a larger range of vocabulary. Nowadays, we have a much less formal approach to language. That's not to say that it's gone completely, but in the America that we live in, we often distrust formal language as insincere. When we hit Salt Lake City, we met competitor Dallin Merrill. I'm 21 years old and I'm currently in college. Boy, if I win $10,000, that'd really help me so I could uh, put that towards my future education and uh, concentrate more on my schoolwork. Our hidden word is cup. It's a proper name containing five letters. Dallin. Cupid. Cupid is the correct answer for 100 points. To recover from an illness, often Dallin. Recuperate. Recuperate is the correct answer. Very large rodent that protects itself with quills. Sarah. Uh, porcupine. Porcupine is correct. Involuntary spasm or spasm. Sarah. Hiccup. Hiccups is correct. It's a tight game, guys. Sarah, you have 300 points now on the board. Dallin, you have 400 points. This could be your winning question. We have a new hidden word. The hidden word is pen. New hidden word, it's pen. We're looking for an adjective that contains five letters, a type of horse or a type of bean. Tonight on The Amazing Race, a bargain broken. You can take $50 or you can take nothing. Good land, Colin in jail. There's no contract. We got a flight to make. The Amazing Race, tonight at 9 on GS. Dish Network Pay-Per-View has turned Fridays into Family Movie Fridays. It's the perfect way to spend quality time with your whole family. 
Tune into Channel 532 and look for the word family in your on-screen guide. Every Friday, you'll find a variety of hit movies that are appropriate for the entire family to enjoy together. Where else can you find so much family fun for only $3.99? This Friday, spend some quality time with your family. Order a movie from Dish Network Pay-Per-View. America's favorite home gym is more affordable than ever. Now you can get the all-new Bowflex Extreme for just $19 a month. Call the number on your screen for a free DVD or video and check it out. Bowflex's power rod technology delivers results. Powerful arms, defined legs, a stronger chest, and a toned, sexy core. And owning a Bowflex home gym is so affordable. Great results are easy with a new Extreme. All it takes is one simple workout, 20 minutes a day, three times a week, to get in the best shape of your life. The Extreme is built so well that we back it with an unrivaled seven-year warranty. And so effective, it comes with Bowflex's 100% satisfaction guarantee. Through this special offer, you can own one with no money down and just $19 per month. You can't get this Bowflex deal anywhere else. Call us for a free DVD or video or visit us online and find out how to get your Bowflex for just $19 a month today. Homeowners need cash? You need to know about the no-closing-cost home equity line of credit from Countrywide Home Loans. Unlike many lenders, with Countrywide, there's no application fee, no credit reporting fee, no appraisal fee, no underwriting fee, no closing costs. So you can use more of your loan to pay off credit cards and lower your bills. The no closing cost home equity line of credit from Countrywide. No one can do what Countrywide can. Apply now. Call 1-800-641-8301 phone conversation was four and a half hours long. The whole time I was thinking, oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. I think our second phone conversation was four and a half hours long too. Yeah. <laughs> and the third. And the fourth. If you've tried dating sites and been disappointed, it's time you graduated D-Harmony. It begins with the powerful experience of getting your personality profile. Yours free when you log on today. I did it my way for 30 years and I did it D-Harmony.com's way for two weeks and I got Allison. Not one of these allergy medicines can give you long-lasting seasonal allergy relief without the risk of drowsiness. But Allegra 180 can. For people 12 and over, side effects alone may include headache, cold, or backache. Long-lasting Allegra. The relief goes on. On the next episode of Ball Breakers, celebrities firing their best shots to raise money for their favorite charities. Join Lou Diamond Phillips, Tia Carrera, Cameron Mannheim, and Eric Roberts. Ball Breakers, it's cool on steroids. Tonight at 10 on GSM. Take back the game at GSN.com. We're looking for an adjective that contains five letters, a type of horse, or a type of bean. Dallin. Pinto. Pinto is the correct answer. So now that I know that I'm going to at least get a chance to compete for the $25,000 a grand prize, I feel I have a really good shot at winning it all. I'm super excited about going to Philadelphia. You know, I'd win it just to win. I mean, that's the most important thing to me, is just, you know, winning the competition. Right now, I'm an undergraduate student at Brigham Young University. I'm majoring in humanities with a minor in Spanish. After that, I'm going to go to law school, and I don't have a whole lot saved up for that. So this $25,000 would be huge. My mom, my grandmother, my great-grandmother were all teachers. So ever since I was a little kid, education has been one of the most important things. You know, my family is excited for me, and of course my roommates and my friends. I knew he was a smart guy. I didn't know that he was $10,000 worth of game show money smart. He's always telling us about it, how he's going to go to Philadelphia and win $25,000. And then he's going to take us all to dinner, so... I figure I've got a good as chance as anyone of winning the, the $25,000 grand prize. I'm just thrilled and ready to go. We went to various Southern California hangouts, like this 50s car hop, a city basketball court, and this Hermosa Beach surf shop to find out what makes a word cool. Neat. <laughs> I, mean, I really date myself. You know, that's really a neat car opener, you know? The surf was awesome today. That was an awesome nose ride you got. Fresh, it could mean a lot of things, fresh, you know? Especially when we're using the code of the streets where we don't have a lot of time to say what we got to say, but we have to say these things, so. If we saw something like this rolling down the road, we, we, we'd think it was bitching. 
that, that would be one of the terms that we would have used, or cool, far out. Mint, strenuous. Those are just words that are coming out of the hood. I mean, most of these cars, like boss and cool and, you know, all that stuff. I mean, that was, you know, that was basically the, the language back then. He went to the third line and just had the mint shot. You got somebody like seven foot, and the guy's trying to block him, and somebody got up and got his block. That was strenuous right there. That's what we're talking about, strenuous. But some of the latest words to express a positive are curiously negative. Ah, uh, did you see so-and-so? He just got the sickest wave. Today, one of the most current uses in this is something like stupid cool. And stupid, you might spell O-O, S-T-O-O-P-I-D. So it would almost seem that you're putting it down, but that's actually meant in praise. That car is stupid, meaning that's just the best you can be, yeah. If, if somebody said that's a stupid car, I'd be like, you know, what, you know, look who's talking, you know, whatever. I mean, I would be offended if somebody said that. Your hidden word is ants. When certified, they can help you with your tax returns. Sharon. Accountants. That is correct for 100 points. Leg revealing style of the 70s. Leg gym. Hot pants. Hot pants is the correct answer. Occupants of an apartment. Jim. Tenants. You just won $10,000 towards your college tuition money. I want to go to grad school. I'm not sure where yet, but hopefully in Europe, in Germany or England. This is really exciting. I'm still a little shocked. I'm excited to go to Philadelphia, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. This uh, character on my right is my son, Colin. He's nine and a half, and uh, he hasn't made any college plans yet. Greg, are you playing for someone, or are you playing for yourself? I'm playing for my son, Colin. Our hidden word is mad. Armored animal found in Texas. Greg. Armadillo. Armadillo is correct. Lightweight to address a female. Greg. Madam. Madam is the correct answer. A fleet of warships. Greg. Armada. Armada is the correct answer. Greg, you are our winner today. Colin, come on up here, Colin. I'm surprised uh, this is all happening in the span of a single day. How does Greg feel about the championship in Philadelphia? I feel pretty confident. I'm looking forward to it, and I think I have as good a chance as anybody else. What about the everyday words and expressions that drive us all crazy? Nowadays, one of the things that tends to stick out for many people in terms of how young Americans speak is this famous use of like. I went to the beach and it was like really cool, like for sure. Now, what's interesting about like is that the way people use it is actually quite subtle. It's very systematic. Oh my God, like I went to the mall and like, oh my God, I saw the cutest guy. Like if I go up to her and I'm like, hey dude, what's up? <laughs> That's new. And I think that that is partly because we're a culture that distrusts authority. And as a result, part of being a good person is to not express yourself in terms of how you feel or what your opinion is too vigorously, too often. I'm like, Party. what? <laughs> Another thing you don't find is this. When people talk about, like, one time at band camp. When the waves are terrible, it means that they're bad. That's not the way young people spoke before about 1970. There have been studies done of this. You didn't make everything sound like a question. That's something that's new. It's not an accident. Once again, it's a way of pulling back. One way that we show that we're good people. We're giving away $10,000 today, courtesy of Bank of America. Our hidden word is bat. Before the estate is settled, the will goes through this. Carrie. Probate. Probate is the correct answer for 100 points. Collection of cookies baked at one time. Heather. Batch. Batch is the correct answer. Okay. It's a tie game. 400 points each on the board. This is 
probably going to be the winning question for either of you. We're looking for a noun containing seven letters, a gymnast or tumbler. Who doth make sparkle the eyes of the mighty pool gods? The trash talkers? The risk takers. I'm gonna let her brain. With 20,000 big ones on the line, these pool pilgrims pray they know. Pool gods, be with me today. Who will have the gods in their pocket? <laughs> Who's bid for immortality will be scratched. Oh, pool gods, folks. Curry favor with fickle pool gods. Woo! Watch ball breakers, it's pool on steroids. Saturdays at 10 p.m. Only on GSN. Okay, so it's an extra long Philly cheesesteak. Yep. How do you know it's an extra long Philly cheesesteak as opposed to a long Philly cheesesteak? Yeah, extra long is a little bit longer than long. You know, I figured that, but like, is right. there some sort of... So, so this, this is long. Yeah. Cool. This is extra long. <laughs> Boom. You know, I've measured a lot of things. All right, like your head is too big. Yeah. Why? Too big. This would be big. Yeah. That's too big. Extra long Philly cheesesteak. New at Sonic. The classic Philly cheesesteak. Stretched by Sonic. It's not just good. It's Sonic good. Rich Chocolate Ovaltine! Yeah! My kids love Ovaltine's rich chocolate taste. And I love that there are vitamins and minerals not found in Nesquik powder. We're back! Who wants Ovaltine? Me! Let's make more! More Ovaltine, please! Imagine knowing you're pregnant the moment it happens. Science is getting close. They found a hormone variant that better predicts early pregnancy. First Response detects it. It tells you five days before your missed period. First Response, discovering ways to tell you first. Hey, Dad, did you know Kraft American Singles have double the calcium and many other American slices to help me have strong bones and teeth when I grow up? Just don't grow up too fast. Kraft American Singles, double the calcium, now with vitamin D. You're the flame in my heart, the apple of my eye. Experience the fine fragrance of snuggle, spring blush. The following message is completely tasteless and completely clear. Benefiber. Unlike Metamucil, it dissolves completely in beverages and is tasteless. Now that's Fiberlutionary. Benefiber makes taking fiber easier. After we adopted Max and Fuzzy, we adopted Arm & Hammer Multi-Cat Clumping Litter with thousands of baking soda crystals that absorb and destroy odors on contact. It works better than any other multi-cat litter. An odor-free home starts with Arm & Hammer. We're looking for a noun containing seven letters, a gymnast or tumbler. Carrie. Acrobat. Acrobat is correct. <laughs> Carrie, you just won yourself $10,000 towards your college tuition courtesy of Bank of America. Thank you so much. I've always been able to find something at the last minute, uh, is evidenced here, uh, that's allowed me to stay in school and keep paying for it. I've been doing all kinds of work. Uh, I tutor, I work on a farm. Uh, I've even done a medical study just to try to get some extra cash. So really, this, this will help out. This will allow me to spend more time on my studies and finish out my senior year right. Stephen Klein Edler at the American Heritage Dictionary is a true word lover. He's assembled the 100 words every word lover should know. One of the words we talk about is chortle, uh, which is a blend of the word chuckle and snort. And what's cool about this word is it's an invented word. Uh, Lewis Carroll invented it for through the looking glass. We included the word cruciverbalist because it is a word that is so appropriate to word lovers. A cruciverbalist is someone who writes crossword puzzles, or it also means someone who is an enthusiast of crossword puzzles. And someone who loves crossword puzzles is obviously a word lover, so we thought it was a very appropriate choice. Facetious means humorous or playfully jocular. It is one of the few words in the English language that contains the five vowels in order, A-E-I-O-U. We included the state fish of Hawaii in 100 words every word lover should know because it's a very interesting word. It's huma huma nuku nuku apu a a. Every letter has one and only one sound. So it's very easy to read if you just start at the left and work your way through. Huma huma nuku nuku apu a a. What's up, Pittsburgh? Your 
first hidden word is den. The touch of King Midas. Andrew. Golden. Golden is the correct answer. The big man at the big house. Andrew. Warden. Warden is the correct answer. Andrew, you just won $10,000. I really wanted to win the prize, and when I knew I was out in front, I still didn't quite believe it. I can't wait to test out my medal against the, the best of the best from around the country. In San Francisco, we met Casey Butterfield. I would really like to further my education. I'd like to use the money to go to graduate school. I would say I feel pretty confident that I can take home the $10,000 today, but I still feel pretty nervous about it. The hidden word is sin. Soft leather shoe often worn by Michael. Moccasin. Moccasin is correct. Illegal liqueur made from Casey. Absinthe. That is correct. Casey, you just won $10,000 towards your college tuition money. I think it's great to get the $10,000 and Casey, I just met, it's a big deal. She was almost crying. She honestly did not know how she was going to pay for her tuition next year. And she's just, she's, I think, in shock right now. I would say this is definitely one of the happy moments in my life. I'm just amazed that this is happening. Um, I've worked as a translator, as an editor, I've been a jazz singer, and I'm, I've just reached the point where I really know what I want to do, which is to go and get a graduate degree. Um, I want to study international relations and use that to, to change things. I, I have really great, really close relationships with both of my parents. She said, guess what, Dad? I said, uh, what, Casey? She said, you know how you told me to start thinking about getting some money for uh, Cambridge? I said, yeah, I think it's a good idea. She said, well, I, I did. I went out and I won a quiz show and I got $10,000. And I was just... I was thrown. I was just floored. You, you really can't play Bago with Casey because she will beat the pants off you. Okay, um, Meal, M-E-A-L. Yes. Casey's always been really competitive. In school, in games, I mean, if you, if you want to play a game with Casey, she's going to be in it to win. She has always been extremely determined. She's very smart. She wakes up in the middle of the night with a stomach ache. I think still, she, when she was a little kid, she thought that reading a book would make the stomach ache go away, that there was something medicinal in reading. I know that my dad's biggest fear is for me to fail. I want to make sure that, that she's prepared. I think she's got a really good shot at winning. If there's ever a competition that she would shine at, it's this one. This is a kid to be reckoned with, for sure. For sure. I mean, you know, we know she's going to be president of the United States someday. I got to tell you, I feel pretty confident that I can take home that $35,000. I think I just need to keep playing a Scrabble game a day. The exploding popularity of computers and the Internet has led to an explosion of new words. There, of course, was a whole array of vocabulary that sprung from this, even words that had previously existed, such as browser or very simple words like cut and paste, take on new meanings when there is a computer technology overlay. Technology influences language in every way imaginable, but I think the most noticeable thing here is that it speeds things up. Jenny Jardin writes about technology's influence on our culture on our popular blog, boingboing.net. We always have this increasing desire to, to shorten words and to shorten our sentences and to shorten the lengths of the communiques that we send each other by phone or by text or by email. In text messaging, phrases like be right back, got to go, and talk to you later are replaced by their acronyms becoming words in their own right. Many believe this is not an evolution of the language we should want. I don't know if we can ever say that the evolution of language is a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, language isn't some pristine document that has to be preserved. Language serves us, not the other way around. In Dallas, we ran into a familiar face, Jennifer Robinson, who had played in two other cities and was on her third attempt to win. Well, the reason why I came here today was to win the $10,000. Our hidden word is tar, pertaining to the South Pole. Angela. Antarctic. That is correct for another 100 points. Referring to five bones of the foot. Jennifer. 
metatarsal? That is correct, Veronica Point. Found in corn, potatoes, and stiff collars. Jennifer. Starch. Absolutely correct. Jennifer, this could be the winning point for you if you answer correctly. Angela, you can stay in the game if Jennifer's unable to answer at this point. Good luck. We're looking for a noun that contains seven letters. A close-fitting one-piece garment worn by acrobats and dancers. Jennifer. The natural condition of our eyes is moist, but sometimes your eyes don't produce enough tears. If you use over-the-counter eye drops or artificial tears several times a day, ask your eye doctor about Restasis. Because you may have chronic dry eye due to decreased tear production. You can have chronic dry eye without knowing it, like me. And my doctor prescribed Restasis. It's the only eye drop that helps your eyes increase tear production with continued use. Go to Restasis7.com or call 1-888-473-7827 to get this free information kit. Restasis helps increase your natural ability to produce tears, which may be suppressed by inflammation due to chronic dry eye. It should not be used by patients with active eye infections and has not been studied in patients with a history of herpes viral infections of the eye. The most common side effect is a burning sensation. One drop twice a day with continued use helps me make more of my own tears. My tears. Thanks, Restasis. Make an appointment with your eye doctor to see if Restasis is right for you. So, I could sit here and try all 42 pasta and sauce combinations. Well, you could. You better not. <laughs> Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl with new mushroom Alfredo. Pick any sauce and pasta combination, then another. Just $7.95. Have all you want. Imagine. Knowing you're pregnant the moment it happens. Science is getting close. They found a hormone variant that better predicts early pregnancy. First Response detects it. It tells you five days before your missed period. First Response. Discovering ways to tell you first. There's an anti-aging breakthrough so incredible. It's gone from being the hot topic among dermatologists to a feature story on TV newscasts all across the country. Why the buzz? Pentapeptides. Research has proven that pentapeptides can regenerate the surface of the skin. Pentapeptides have been clinically proven by dermatologists to help heal damaged skin by stimulating collagen production and elastin formation. Olay Regenerist has found a different and exciting way to use pentapeptides within its amino peptide complex. And now that the word is out, stores have literally been selling out of Olay Regenerist. When I saw the newscast, right then, it, you know, it sort of sold me. I said... This has got to work. When I can find something at my drugstore or grocery store that works this well, that's very exciting to me. Olay Regenerist renews the skin's outer layer, reducing the appearance of fine lines to give you smoother, younger-looking skin. Go online or call this number to get $3 off any Regenerist product and love the skin you're in. Take back the game at GSN.com. For a noun that contains seven letters, a close-fitting one-piece garment worn by acrobats and dancers, Jennifer. Leotard. Leotard is correct. And Jennifer, you just won $10,000 towards your college tuition money. I really want to help women and children. So it doesn't really count as just money for me. It's money to help me help others. And that's really significant, so I'm very excited about that. Words describe what it is to be human. And perhaps no words in our language do that better than slang. Something like fat, and that's the fat that's spelled P-H-A-T. Fat is like another word for cool. The same thing, like P-H-A-T, oh, that's fat. Actually, I started a word. It's chillax. Chill out and relax. Chillax? I actually haven't heard that at all. I'm a phone craftsmaner because uh, generally I'll hold off on calling people back if I know that it's somebody that I, I don't have time to talk to at the moment. That's sick, man. It means that something is cool. You know, it means something is, is really, really cool. Ginormous. I've definitely heard that and have used that. Really big or huge. And one of the most versatile words is word. Word is the only word you can respond to anything with. Like, Tell, yeah. like, hey, dude, Ask I, anything. I, I, how you doing? Word. Like, yeah, that's dude. it. That's all you hey, need to you know. see that chick? Word. The final stop on our Word Slam journey was Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi, Philadelphia. How are you? 
where we needed to find our 11th and final vocabulary expert. Our hidden word is sun. 14 line verse familiar to Shakespeare. Art. Sonnet. Sonnet is correct. To add spice to food. Alyssa. Season. Season is correct. B, C, or D, but not A and E. Art. Consonant. Consonant is correct. Male or female, head of the corporate board. Art. Chairperson. Chairperson is correct. Art just won $10,000. Winning $10,000 is fantastic. And I'm hoping to uh, go back to school and go for my PhD. I'm still a little numb, but it's super. It's setting in. One language trend that we may be seeing a lot of is a kind of compression. I think people are going to use one or two words to describe a whole sentence. That's basically where I think we're going with the vernacular in the future. And I think that 20 or 30 or 40 years from now, technology will have changed our language in ways that we can't even begin to imagine now. But I like it how things change and nothing really stays the same. People won't talk like they did like 80 years ago. I don't know. <laughs> The language that your children speak might not be the same language that you speak, but language is resilient. It always finds ways to adapt as long as people are communicating with each other. I think language, the evolution of language and how we communicate is great. I mean, why would you want to have one way to describe something? I think it's great that language is always evolving. Go to school, please. I love the fact that you're doing this and we're using educated words. I want you to pick up a dictionary after you talk to me. Damn, you used a word that I haven't even heard before. That was strenuous right there. That's what we're talking about, strenuous. We have found them out of the thousands we had met on our nationwide tour, these 11 were the best vocabulary experts. Now, they will compete in the Word Slam Championship. The winner will take home a check for $25,000. Which one will it be? It was time to find out. Hello, Philadelphia, and welcome to the Word Slam Championship. Extreme Dodgeball, Tuesday nights at 10 on GSN. Are you getting enough fiber in your diet? To get the 25 to 30 grams of daily fiber you need for ongoing good health, what else would you have time for? That's why there's Fiber Choice, the chewable fiber supplement. Each bottle contains 180 grams of fiber. You'd need more than three bottles of fiber caplets at three times the price to get the same amount, which makes Fiber Choice the smart choice for your busy lifestyle. Fiber Choice, now in assorted fruit chewable tablets and hard candy drops. I'm Dr. Angus. Don't feel like sitting? You will. Welcome to Power Sitting. Look at yourselves. When was the last time you actually sat down? If you can't stop and smell the roses, I will teach you to stop and eat the Angus. Sit down. The Angus is my beefy power sitting tool. Its knee buckling taste teaches sit. What do you feel like doing now? I want to sit down. As soon as I picked up the Angus, I immediately sat down. When I look in the mirror now, I see me only sitting. Meat meets mushroom, but meat seat. Buns up, buns down. I'm full of sit, you're full of sit, we're all full of sit. I hadn't sat in seven years. Now look at me. The Angus is that powerful. I am going to teach you to get down with the Angus. The Angus Shroom and Swiss, the ultimate sit-down burger. that goes global with the world's most advanced network, Verizon Broadband. Imagine.
Knowing you're pregnant the moment it happens. Science is getting close. They found a hormone variant that better predicts early pregnancy. First Response detects it. It tells you five days before your missed period. First Response, discovering ways to tell you first. The Word Slam Championship began with some one-on-one -on -one elimination challenges. Our first two contestants are Andrew and Greg. Come on down. I'd really like to go for the grand prize. I guess my biggest pressure is just to succeed and do my best up there. My son and I are already winners by, by being here, and anything that we win over on top of that is, is pretty much gravy or icing on the cake. What one word precedes side, soul, step, mate, Andrew? Check. Check is not the correct answer. Greg? In. In is the correct answer. Andrew was the first to be eliminated. The competition seems really tough. They seem like good players. I'm just, I'm really excited. And I've got, you know, I've got the nerves going a little bit. But I had that in San Francisco, and it worked for me. So I'm not too concerned. What one word precedes? Cat, card, buyer, art. Wild. Wild is correct. What one word follows? Sky, hand, creative, play, Casey. Writing. Writing is correct. Casey, you're going to the semifinal round. I would like to win this $25,000 very badly. I think that they're scared of me because I've done a lot more study probably than anybody else in the competition. Harry. Denver. Denver is the correct answer. Track. Line. Hand. Great. Great is the correct answer. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I blame it all on that. I'm pretty confident I'm going to take on the $25,000 today. I really don't have a strategy. It's just try to answer the questions the best I can. Just do the best I can. What one word follows? Under, good, hunting, stray, wiener. Chris. Dog. Dog is the correct answer. What one word precedes? Giver, maker, suit, school, Abiding. Build. Law. Law is correct. What one word precedes? Handle, whole, hood, hunt, kind. Bill. Man. Man is the correct answer. Bill, you're going to the semi-final round. Right now, I just, you know, can't envision a scenario in which I lose because I've, I've done well in the word games and, you know, I never really trailed when I played in Salt Lake. What one word follows? Fox, gopher, Dallin. Hole. Hole is the correct answer. What one word follows? Foot, toad, milking, step, Dallin. Stool. Stool is the correct answer. Dallin, you have 400 points on the board. If they think that, you know, I'm confident going into it, maybe I can get one or two questions right off the bat, and uh, then they'll have to work um, to catch up. Jim. Ty. Ty is the correct answer. Jim. Side. Side is the correct answer. Jim. 
Sun is the correct answer. It's a tie game. Each of you have 400 points on the board. This is like crazy intense. Are you fed up wasting your weekend washing and waxing your car? The bending, the reaching, the back-breaking work. Then throw in the towel and kick the bucket now. Introducing Simonize Cyclone, the incredible wash and wax system that combines the cleaning muscle of a professional power wash with a revolutionary wash and wax formula that never needs drying. Just pour the never needs drying wash and wax liquid into the Cyclone and start spraying. You get a professional wash and high gloss wax shine in just minutes without any rubbing, drying, or buffing. Watch! The special Never Needs Drying Wash and Wax formula enters the power chamber and is transformed into a cyclonic surge that unleashes a powerful blast to disintegrate dirt and road drive. As your car dries, Simonize seals the clean surface with tough carnauba wax to lock in an incredible, glossy, spot-free shine that protects the finish from harsh elements. The Cyclone washes, rinses, and dries itself to a tough, long-lasting Simonize shine. All in one step. Other wash systems don't come close to the deep cleaning power of the Cyclone. Amazing! And forget about hoses. The comfortable non-slip grip keeps it secure in any size hand, while the easy extend handle eliminates bending and reaching. Nothing is faster or better than the Cyclone. And best of all, it's from Simon Eyes, the most trusted name in car care. So why waste your weekend breaking your back when you can get the amazing Simon Eyes Cyclone Power Wash with the Never Needs Drying Wash and Wax Formula of $40 value at the detailer's direct price of only $19.95. Order right now and we'll also include the Cyclone Multi-Spray Attachment. Great for watering lawns and gardens or power washing decks, shutters, or siding. And it works wonders on windows. It's a $10 value, but percent of the services in your home are soft services that can hold on to odors and release them back into the room. The Febreze Cleanse Air Odor Elimination Technology finds those odors and cleans them away as it dries, truly eliminating odors, not just covering them up. And it's safe to use on virtually all the soft surfaces in your home, like upholstered furniture, carpets, curtains, and bedding. Febreze is safe to use around kids, cats, and dogs, too. So what are you waiting for? Take the Febreze 7-Day Challenge yourself to eliminate odors and freshen fabrics fast. It'll make your space the place to be, guaranteed or your money back. Go online to get $20 in coupons for Febreze Fabric Refresher, Febreze Air Effects, and Febreze Scent Stories. Febreze, it's that fresh. Gleeful Globetrotters go for glory on The Amazing Race. Coming up next, then it's Ball Breakers and Extreme Dodgeball, only on GSN. What one word precedes world, fall, foul, front, Jim? Water. Water is the correct answer. Jim, you're going on to the semifinal round. Thanks, Alan. I feel like I'm going home a loser. You know, like, uh, yeah, I went to $1,000, and I felt like I went home a winner when I won that. And this time, I got too confident. A tough semifinal round saw the elimination of Carrie from Nashville, Mary from Boston, and Jim from Chicago. Here are our three finalists. Greg, Casey, and Bill, please come to the stage. I'm trying to keep my mind as blank as possible, as relaxed as possible. But, you know, what's going through my mind behind that is definitely worry. I hope to do well. What's at stake for me is my son's education. I'm just hoping I do good, you know, I'm trying to think about it really too much, but I'm just hoping I do all right. Let's play the final round. Let's give them a round of applause. Each correct answer is worth 100 points, and the first person to 500 points wins $25,000 for their college tuition money. Good luck to all of you. The hidden word is mine. We are looking for a noun containing eight letters. Poison ivy, poison oak. Casey. Calamine. Calamine is the correct answer.
we are looking for a verb containing seven letters to inspect closely or to test. Bill. Determine. Determine is not the correct answer. Casey. Examine. Examine is the correct answer for 100 points. We are looking for a noun containing 10 letters. Thick Italian soup. Casey. Minestrone. That is correct. <laughs> the hidden word is still mine. We are looking for a noun containing eight letters. It's one of the vitamins in the B complex. Greg. Thiamin. That is correct. We're looking for a proper name containing seven letters. Aladdin's Lady. Casey. Jasmine. Jasmine is the correct answer. Bill, you don't have any points on the board, but that's okay. Greg, you have 100 points. Casey, you have 400 points on the board. You only need 500 points to walk away with $25,000 in addition to the $10,000 you've already won. Good luck. The hidden word is mine. We're looking for a noun containing six letters. Extreme scarcity of food. Casey. Famine. Famine is the correct answer. Casey. What did they tell you? They told me I was going to take it. <laughs> they told you you were going to take it. Well, congratulations. Is that your dad? Let's get your dad up here. All right. I could only bring one person, and, and I chose to bring my dad. And it just feels really good to be able to bring him here with me to something that is so high stakes and, and have him be able to see me win like that. It's really great. Hello? Mom? Yes? Um, I'm on camera right now. So... <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I love you, Mom. You did it. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Casey, on behalf of Bank of America Student Banking, we'd like to present to you this check in the amount of $25,000 to be deposited into your 529 Future Scholars Fund. Congratulations. We travel far and wide in search of our vocabulary champion. With Casey Butterfield, we found someone who not only had the skill to win, but the wisdom to truly understand the value of words. It is so important to have a good vocabulary, to have good spelling skills, to have good grammar. It's what you've chosen to get across what you have to say. It's the language that you choose. It's the words that you use.